In this video, we'll try to understand how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load over the entire span length and having overhang on the right hand side. Now the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here. So the beam is of 6 meter length and there is an overhang of 2 meter which is provided on the right hand side of the beam. Now on the entire span length of 6 meters, there is a uniformly distributed load of 8 kN per meter that is acting. Now for this particular arrangement, we have to find out first the beam reactions. So first we will convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load. Now we know that the meaning of 8 kN per meter is that for 1 meter length, the load that is acting is 8 kN. Then for 6 meter length on which that UDL is acting, the load will be 8 into 6 that is 48 kN. Now as this is the rectangular distribution, the load will be acting at the center or centered of this particular rectangular distribution that is 6 upon 2 that is 3 meter length. So first we will convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load. So 8 into 6 that is 48 kN and it will be acting at the center of 6 meter length that is 3 meter. So now we will apply the conditions of equilibrium to find out the beam reactions. So applying the conditions of equilibrium, the first condition is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces we have considered them as positive whereas downward forces we have considered as negative. So RA is considered as positive, RA is positive which is acting in the upward direction and RB is also positive. 48 kN it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative. So RA plus RB minus 48 is equal to 0. Transfer this negative term on the other side so it will become positive. So this is our first equation. Now we will apply the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of moments is equal to 0. Clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. So we will take the moment about point A. Now start with this reaction RB. So this RB will produce anti-clockwise moment about A that is indicated by this particular arrow and the perpendicular distance between B and A is 4 meter. So minus RB into 4 that will be the moment that will be created by this reaction RB which is acting in the upward direction. Now this 48 kN load point load will produce the clockwise moment as indicated by this arrow about A. So 48 and the perpendicular distance is 3 meter from the point of application of the load up to A. So 48 into 3 and it is clockwise and hence it is positive. RA will not produce any moment because it is already passing through point A. It is not having any perpendicular distance. So 48 into 3 that is positive moment and RB into 4 is a negative moment. So anti-clockwise moments are negative and clockwise moments they are positive. So 48 into 3 that is 144. Transfer this negative RB into 4 term on the other side, it will become positive. Now divide by this 4 on this side, so it is 144 divided by 4 that is equal to reaction at point B. So RB will be equal to 36 kN. Now we have to find out the value of RA. So from equation 1, we can say that RA will be equal to 48 minus RB. Now just substitute the value of RB that is 48 minus 36. The value of RB that we have calculated is 36. So 48 minus 36 that is 36 that is 12 kN. So in this way we can find out the beam reactions in case of a simply supported beam carrying UDL. Now we have to make the calculations for shear force. So shear force diagram calculations. The conventions which we have used are upward forces are positive and downward forces they are negative. Now shear force at A. At A there is a reaction RA which is acting in the upward direction. So shear force at A is 12 kN because it is acting in the upward direction. Shear force just at the left of the B. That means we are not considering this particular reaction 36. We are just considering all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of B that is RA and this UDL. So RA which is acting in the upward direction that is 12 kN and UDL from a up to just left of B is 4 meters. So 8 into 4 that is 32. So 12 minus 32 that is minus 20 kN. Now shear force at B to this minus 20 we have to add the upward acting reaction which is positive that is 36 kN. So 36 minus 20 that is 16 kN. Now shear force at C. So up to B we are having 16. So 16 
that we have written over here and from b to c udl is 8 kilo newton per meter acting over 2 meter length so 8 into 2 but it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative so 16 that is from the previous value is 16 minus this udl load of 16 so 16 minus 16 that is 0 kilo newton so let us draw this shear force diagram using these particular values so first we'll draw the baseline then at a the shear force is 12 kilo newton then it decreases to minus 20 kilo newton then at point b it is 16 kilo newton and again reduces to zero so these are the various values which we have indicated over here now this is the important point this is the point of zero shear and first we'll find out this particular point of zero shear now we'll consider the principle of similarity of the triangle so this particular triangle is having base of x and height of 12 and this is having so this distance is 4 so this base will be 4 minus x so 4 minus x and height is of 20 so using this concept we can say that x upon 12 for this triangle will be equal to 4 minus x divided by 20 that is base divided by height is equal to base divided by height for the another triangle so x upon 12 is equal to 4 minus x divided by 20 so that we have indicated over here now cross multiply so 20 into x will be equal to 12 into bracket 4 minus x so we have cross multiplied these two particular terms so 20x will be equal to 12 into 4 that is 48 and 12 into minus x that is minus 12x now transfer this negative term on the other side so it will become positive so 12 20x plus 12x that is 32x and that is equal to 48 so therefore x will be equal to 48 divided by 32 that is 1.5 meter from a so we can say that the value of x is 1.5 meter from a where shear force is becoming zero now we'll find out the bending moment at this particular point of zero shear so let us extrapolate that particular section and let us call this as section xx in our original diagram so x distance we have already calculated now we have to find out what will be the bending moment at this particular section xx so just we'll consider the forces on the left hand side of this particular section xx so we'll remove this 8 kN per meter rule which is present on the right hand side of this section xx so 8 into x that will be the udl which we have convert which will be converting into the point load so 8 is the udl and multiplied by distance x and it will be acting at the center of that particular x distance that is x by 2 so these are the loads which are acting on the left hand side of this particular section xx so bending moment at the point of zero shear so ra will produce the clockwise moment so arrow upward acting arrow of this ra will produce the clockwise moment about xx so it is ra into x so that we have mentioned over here whereas this downward acting arrow of 8x will produce anti-clockwise moment about section xx so it is 8x into x by 2 so now substitute the value of x over here so x is 1.5 so here also x is 1.5 and this is 1.5 upon 2 so if we make the calculation then it will be 9 kilo newton meter now the bending moment calculations that we'll perform over here at the end points of the simply supported beam the bending moment is zero so at a it is zero similarly bending moment at c also it is equal to zero the conventions that we are using is clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative bending moment at section xx that is the point of zero shear already we have calculated it is as 9 kilo newton meter now we have to find out what will be the bending moment at point b so we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of b so on the left hand side of b we are having reaction ra which is acting in the upward direction and udl of 8 kilo newton per meter acting for 4 meter length now reaction ra will produce clockwise direction because the arrow of ra is acting in the upward direction so it will go in the clockwise direction towards b and the perpendicular distance between a and b is 4 meter so it is ra into 4 whereas this 8 into 4 it is the udl which we are converting into point load and it will be acting at the half of this 4 meter length so 8 into 4 into 2 so that but 
as it is acting in the downward direction it will produce the anti clockwise moment about point b so 8 into 4 into 2 that will be the moment of the udl load and that value comes out to be minus 16 kilonewton meter so let us first draw the baseline bending moment at a it is 0 at xx it is 9 kilonewton meter at point b it is minus 16 kilonewton meter and at c it is again 0 so it is a parabolic distribution because this is a second degree equation now the bending moment diagram is changing its sign so at this point the bending moment value is becoming 0 and that particular point is known as point of contraflection so first we'll find out the point of contraflection so suppose we extrapolate this and we'll call this as section yy at a distance of y from a so we have to find out the point of contraflection so bending moment at point yy so again we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this section that is yy section so on the left hand side of this section yy there is upward acting reaction that is ra and the udl of 8 kilonewton per meter acting for y meter length so again ra will produce it is the upward arrow it will produce a clockwise moment about yy so it is ra into y minus so this is ra into y minus 8 into y it is the udl load and it will be acting at the center of y meter length that is y by 2 but as it is in the downward direction this will produce anti-clockwise moment about this particular section so ra into y minus 8 into y is the udl load acting at the center of y that is y by 2 so 8 upon 2 that is 4 so it is 4 y into y that is y square so ra y minus ra into y minus 4 y square and bending moment is 0 transfer this negative term on this side so it will become positive now cancel out one y term from both the sides so it is 4 into y is equal to ra or we can say that y is equal to ra divided by 4 now value of ra is 12 so 12 by 4 so it is 3 meter from a so we can say that point of contraflexion will lie at a distance of 3 meter from a where bending moment diagram is changing its sign from positive to negative and this is the point of contraflexion so in this way we can find out we can find out the beam reactions we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and we can find out point of zero shear as well as point of contraflexure in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load over the entire span length and having a overhang on the right hand side thank you very much for watching